Didn't do it for you. Armageddon approach! Away with you. Serve your purpose. Woo! Yo, what's up guys? Welcome back to the channel for some Paladins content. Today we're going to be showing off the new hero and I'm going to go and briefly explain so you guys understand what the heck's going on during the gameplay. So first off, let's go ahead and go over what she has for her ability. So this is her basic attack. Uh, her first ability is called Dark Siphon. You can go ahead and throw out a projectile. It does damage over time and it also can heal you. We also have to have what I have bound to my F key, which is actually going to be the Tendril. So let's just go ahead and launch ourselves into the with a little like grapple and then we can go ahead and follow it up with obliteration which is her slam attack now uh underneath the crosshair you'll notice that there's these little dots as i go ahead and build these little dots up we'll get bonuses on two of our skills so a dark siphon when we go and hit them it will apply a slow now you do need all those stacks for it to apply the slow i'm not really too concerned about it for the build that i'm currently running but um, I do like having the stacks for the obliteration, which is the slam, because you'll get an additional 300 damage when the stacks are full. Now, if you go ahead and get some of the stacks and you go ahead and use the ability, you will not get the slow. So you want to build it up all the way if you want to make a build more based around it, but I didn't really care for that too much. And her ultimate is really awesome. You'll be able to execute targets at certain intervals. Sometimes it can be a little bit awkward when targeting but pretty much when they're about half hp uh you can just obliterate them i really like it for uh engaging uh on tanks when they're like kind of really too aggressive uh, which is quite nice but that's basically her kit let's go ahead and now hop in to the gameplay oh well with uh no tank that'll be a little bit rough There we go. Ooh, the Kinesa. Gotta be kinda careful for her. But I just love this on no cooldown. Because it just makes it so I can spam it the whole time. And it does heal me. And so she doesn't need to reload. We just spam it the whole time. Now, I'm not even caring about my stacks for my Q or whatever I have down to the Q. It might be different for some other people. But I think we got this uh, in the bag, no problem. I'm just gonna break line of sight. Oh, hi. You got him. I think their Kinesa might be kind of good, but I don't know if I want to just go rush on there. Because she's kind of hitting shots. All right, bomb king, go in. But her right click, when you're activating, you're immune to damage. Right. I'm just gonna come on. No, get some damage. Oh, okay. I wanted to execute someone. Usually, your teammates once they hear that they push up, but you can execute them once they're at low enough health. It's great against tanks. Heal up just a little bit. I do not forget. Never forget. Oh. That might be a little rough. I didn't need any help, but that selfishness is a virtue. Let's wait for a team to come back. Melting him. I just gotta play super far back. So we get like a good pick. Gosh, that sound is. He's gonna try to. But I just like how you never have to reload with this character. And you can just basically spam the whole time. The, the hitbox 
It's huge on this thing. Like giant lips. Okay, we got her. Those are like our biggest threat, honestly. Okay, we can execute him out. Ooh. No! No! <laughs> we didn't get to it. I thought after those two kills, we were winning that one 100%, but it's okay. Dead. We can go get more cooldown reduction now. I'm not gonna worry too much about uh, Cauterize since this is just unnecessary, at least that's how I feel about it. Normally, like, yeah, oh, I understand Cauterize is good, but it's okay. We're letting them have that round, well, at least my team is giving that round, so we hit that 10 minute ad rev. Let's go. Alright. Uh, <laughs> but, uh, jokes aside, maybe getting, um, Life Rook would be okay. Are they even getting Cauterize? I mean, to be honest, it's just Kinesa that's even, like, remotely a threat. There's Koga that will spam from far away. I'm not really concerned about most of them anyways. But I just really like getting that cooldown on her, just so I can have, uh, you know, shorter cooldowns because it's, you know, all the abilities, which is quite nice to go ahead and have. Look at it, he's already just at like really low HP. What was he thinking? It's a damage over time, buddy. I gotta really watch out for the Kness, and that's the only threat. There we go. But thanks. Like, I want to go push for the Kinesa. Yeah. I think it's much more of a priority. I wish you could mount up in this game. Enemy killing I should have right clicked. I would have been immune. That would have been smart place. Grow stronger. That's why I love this thing where. Oh, he's, he's trying to go for it. He's gonna break mine of size. Oh, this is no good. I can't do anything during this. Oh! Now we're getting pocketed. Doesn't mean my friend. Oh, he's coming! <laughs> there we go. Woo! <laughs> I think she knows who the carry is now. <laughs> I think the guy's skipping up, or he's maybe just typing something in the chat, getting upset about something. Woo! Now I feel like we're like absolutely destroying stuff. Oh, he's crazy for charging like that. Game up, dude. <laughs> Woo! No way, we got him! Oh my gosh, that's insane. Oh, 
Oh, no, 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 no. Rip that. The ending over there. We got a lot of. Jeez. That was an intense last round, though. Oh, wait. Oh. No, no, no. I. No! No! Are we getting hooked? Dude, we still got a kill. Hopefully our team can like manage to capitalize off of that because I felt like they were all on me. Perfect. Outclass. <laughs> You can't get away from me. I dare challenge McCullough! Oh, I, I regret it. I regret it. I regret it. Oh, we got him. Alright. We are popping off. Oh, he hit him. Just that connect, so there we go. Like, I want to go in. I always want to go in, though, technically, so. Nothing new. Oh, I got obliterated. Alright, Bomb, you need to do some work. Oh. Oh, I. Ow. No! Oh, we good, we good! Mm, almost. It's just Koga also followed up with that ult. Just by whatever, because this should be the last push. We got it! Alright, let's go ahead and uh, check out how much damage we did. There was a lot of really good plays in that. Um. Alright, how much damage do we do? Retless presence over here, alright. Oh, dang. Hey guys, did you know we unlocked a re <laughs> Relentless Presence? <laughs> what is that with the game? Alright, well, I can tell you how much damage we dealt. We did 113,000 damage, jeez! Alright, so now that we've seen the gameplay, let's go ahead and go over some of the cool skins as well as the cards for the new champion over here. So, a little quick little rotation as well. I actually really like the default one a lot. I think that one actually might be one of my favorites. I'm always a fan of the gold one as well, just for all the skins. But I think the default one, they did a really good job on it. But in terms of the uh, loadouts or the cards, here's what uh, is available. I'm going to go ahead and uh, just... I guess this is the only one you guys can't see because my face is blocking it, but it's called Broken Path. It increases the healing from Dark Siphon. That's what we have bound to our 
Q ability. That's the thing that I'm spamming the whole time. So uh, I like to put five points into this. Uh, just grants us extra sustain. And then with Crimson Ascent, I also put five points into it. It reduces the cooldown if it misses a target. So that's how I'm able to spam it over and over again. If it misses, who cares? It's on basically no cooldown because I go ahead and invest cooldown uh, in uh, the uh, items when I purchase. And then uh, the rest of them, I don't really feel like are super important. Like I could swap these in and out. It's no biggie. I do like new purpose just because it's free flat HP. So I'm running unified in purpose and new purpose. These are just basically for sustain. So we take less damage and then on top of that, we increase our health. Then with the Maw's Embrace, we're able to uh, increase our movement speed uh, when we hit anything with a Deadly Scythe. So that's just another free uh, passive over there. But uh, in terms of the builds, uh, this is just one of many builds. Obviously, you can go ahead and get the Double Tendril as it has for like the Legendary card. Uh, I had the one where we get to do an extra 10% damage, which I actually really did enjoy. But anyways, that's going to go ahead and wrap up the video. Guys, let me know what you think of this new hero. I honestly feel like Vora is one of my favorite heroes to play right now just because she has the ability to go ahead and grapple in, secure the kill, and she has a really awesome ultimate. I think she's really fun to play, so it was a great design. But thanks for tuning in, guys. Hopefully you enjoyed the video. If you did, drop a like on it. And if you're new here and you want to catch more Paladin's content, as every time there's a new update with like a new hero or something, I love coming back to this game and just having a blast as this game is just so much fun. I like how you can, I feel like this game, you can definitely carry harder than you can in Overwatch. But nonetheless, that's a topic for another day as there's just technically only five players in the game. You don't have to rely on teammates as much. But take care guys, and I'll catch you on the next video. Have a good one, and I'm signing out. Peace.